Hello everybody, this is Evan. I'm your friend in all creative tutorials and today I will grab again Photoshop and I will try to show you one of my favorite actions, one of my favorite color effects inside Photoshop and of course I'm talking about the elegant monochrome color effect. Uh, a set of edits I usually do inside Photoshop in order to create some wonderful color effects and actually uh, a wonderful way to uh, adopt a monochrome but also romantic and dramatic effect in my photos that uh, it will make them uh, to stand out from the rest. So uh, I will try to show you all the steps. It's a really easy tutorial and of course we will make also an action uh, in order to be able to use it again and again. Let's see the result in some, uh, you know, some photographs inside Photoshop. I have this photograph, this photograph as well, this photograph as well, this photograph as well, and of course this photograph as well uh, has uh, already adopted this color effect a really unique and really strong and powerful, I could say, uh, set of edits and of course a powerful action that will make your photos to be really extraordinary. I will open a simple photo, a simple photo of a forest that uh, I found on the internet and uh, I will actually show you how to do it yourself. First of all, we have to create a duplicate of the original photo I will drag and drop this uh, actually to the new icon underneath. Great. Then I have to change the blend from normal to soft light. You see that? Already a huge difference in my photograph. Afterwards, I will lower the opacity at about 80%. It's really crucial to mix the layers, okay? and uh, afterwards we will use a set of adjustment layers. I will go and click the brightness contrast. I will increase the brightness at about uh, 30, 20 to 30, uh, I think it is okay. And I think 30 will be okay for me now. And uh, afterwards I have to reduce the contrast the same amount but minus, you see that? At about uh, minus 29 let's say. Okay. Afterwards, we have to go to the hue saturation, click that, and of course now I have to reduce the colors by reducing the saturation at about minus 60. Minus 60 until minus 80 is a good, uh, I think, value. And of course, afterwards, we have to import a solid color. So I will go down here, I will click and I will select the solid color over here. And afterwards, I will have to try and find a brown or a dark brown, let's say, color. You see that? I will actually use one of my own. So I will type 664009. It's a nice color that uh, I really like, but I recommend you to find your own color. It's not a big deal anyway. Click OK. Change the blend from normal to soft light again, you see that? And of course, reduce, uh, actually not, do not reduce the opacity. And uh, last but not least, we will create a black and white adjustment. And of course, now I will reduce the opacity at about 60 or 55%, you see that? And now our photo is done. Check the first photo, you see that? And uh, a photo that it is really okay, not so good, not so bad, but check the final result. Really dramatic, really wonderful. We have succeeded to create a monochrome elegant effect with uh, not, uh, you know, 100% uh, black and white, but also we have a sepia tone with colors, a few colors, but, you know, this mix and, of course, this high contrast actually creates this wonderful and cinematic effect. So now I will just uh, use the same uh, techniques and the same steps to create the action. I will delete again all the steps. I will go to the actions panel. I will create a new action. I will name this uh, mono elegant. Super and effect. Why not? I will hit the record button. My action is already recording. 
I will go now and again I will duplicate that. I will change the blend to soft light. I will reduce the opacity at about 80. Wonderful. I will go afterwards to brightness contrast. I will type here 30 and right below minus 30. Great. Then I will go and select the hue saturation. I will reduce the saturation at about minus 60. And this is wonderful. And then I will go and select here the solid color with settings 664009. Great. And of course, then I will change this to soft light. And last but not least, I will use the black and white, of course, with the settings at about 55 to 60. I think at about uh, 55 it will be okay for me. And we're done. Last, I will go and right click and of course flatten the image. So I will have my image uh, already finished without all the, you know, the previous steps. I don't really need them. And then I will go and stop the action. If those steps were a little bit confusing and a little bit overwhelming for you, you just only need to create an action and that's all my folks you will just hit the button and the action will do the rest for you so uh, let's try the same effect at uh, about uh, maybe this photo i will actually go back in history and uh, use the colored version you see that the color version it is okay but it's not that dramatic that the uh, mono mono uh, action that the mono elegant effect uh, you know is used to transform our photographs. So I will select this action, I will hit the click and now prepare for the magic of Photoshop. Are you ready? I just click and everything will be right under one second and my whole effect is done right away. The actions is a wonderful thing in Photoshop, is something that uh, you must learn and you must use if you want to succeed in photography and Photoshop uh, at the same time, because if you don't actually using actions, you're doing the same things again and again and again, so you don't really have time to photograph, you have only time to repeat yourself inside Photoshop. So this was my wonderful uh, action for this day. The mono elegant effect actually is a wonderful effect, is a wonderful action that uh, I usually uh, use it. Uh, so uh, it's now yours, you're free to use it. And of course, uh, if you like the tutorial, please like my work. Don't forget to subscribe because I upload tutorials very, very soon. So have fun, my friends, and keep photoshopping.